Okay, so I want to fly from here to here. That's, that's my course. Now I've got to factor my wind. So I got my wind angle. So I got an angle. Is that an obtuse angle? Is it a, uh, so I've got a right angle. It's a Pythagorean angle. No, it's, is that pi? Pi r squared. No, pi r squared. Pi r round. Cake r squared. So it's cake. Now I'm hungry for cake. All right, I'm gonna get some cake. You figure out which way I need to point the nose to make that go work. All right, so now that you've suffered a sad attempt at humor, uh, I want to talk through a few terms that uh, do confuse some newer students that deal with navigation. Uh, it can be GPS navigation, VOR navigation, or heaven forbid, actually looking out the window and a map and some pilotage type navigation. Um, hopefully, if you are a licensed pilot, you remember this god-awful formula here to try and ultimately go from a course to a heading. We're not really going to get too deep into that because I'm not going to go into the magnetic variation difference between true north and magnetic north. We're going to assume everything is magnetic for this just to kind of simplify it. Ultimately, what I want to do is really just define these four terms, okay? And I've just acronymed them here because my handwriting is really bad. Course, some GPSs call that desired track. Heading, my actual track or ground track and bearing. So let's run through a really quick example and define those so we know what to uh, do with them in our flying. So let's go back to my silly little example here. I want to fly from point A up here to point B. That is my course. Okay, It's just a line on a map, ignoring the true magnetic uh, difference. It can be the magenta line that we so blindly follow a lot on our GPS. It can be a radial or a Victor Airway, um, or it can be a pencil line on a map, okay? So let's say that is, what does that look like? About 360, is that readable? So I wanna fly from this town to this town, 360. Great, that's my course. That's never, ever, ever, ever gonna change until I decide to draw a new line or press direct to and pick something else on my GPS. Just, it is what it is. What does change are all these numbers. Heading is simply which way my nose is pointing. Can you see that airplane on there? Yeah. So right now my heading is 360. I'm not moving yet. Now my heading is 090. I'm still not moving anywhere. Heading is just simply which way the nose is pointing. All right. So if I take off and fly and I make my heading be 360, if there's no wind, I should just fly right over the top of my little line on my map and land at my destination. Okay. That is, if I was flying and I was tossing little breadcrumbs out of my airplane, they should land right there on my course line, ideally. That is my track. And you'll see that on your GPS or on your tablet if you have it available. Um, it's just literally the track you're making good along the ground. Okay, well, there, we've already defined uh, three items. There's always wind though, always wind. Usually it's a headwind, but in this example, we're gonna have a wind just coming out of the west here. So if I f make my heading be 360, I'm not gonna hit this. I am gonna get blown downstream as I draw on my whiteboard when I didn't mean to. It's like swimming across the uh, river. I'm gonna get blown downstream and I'm gonna end up landing somewhere over here. Okay, well that's not gonna work. So that path that I would be taking, even though my heading was 360, this right here is my track. So what I want is, I want my track to ultimately be the same as my course. So, I can't fly ahead into 360, I've got to turn into that wind a bit, and that's where you get your whole wind correction angle when you do learn that formula. Maybe I need to fly a heading of, I honestly don't know, 350? 
you could get out your little E6B and figure all that out. So if I fly ahead in a 360, maybe that'll work. I can drop my breadcrumbs out and they'll land on that line. Maybe 350 is too much and I actually start kind of flying off this direction. Well, I just have to watch that and I'll turn and I'll adjust my heading as I fly to ultimately stay on my course line. So let's say we did fly a heading, uh, had a heading of 360, and we got well, off course, right? That's our course. There's our term, off course. So I end up getting somewhere in this area right here, and I discover that. I've got a couple options now. One is I turn a lot more aggressively, turn my heading to 330, whatever it takes, to try and go get back on course and then figure out what heading I should have been flying in the first place to finish following my course line. Okay, That's intercepting and bracketing is a term for that. If this is nice flat farm country and I just simply want to get to this airport, maybe I don't need to get back on that line. I can just go to my airport from wherever I wandered off. This point right here is my bearing. This number will change as you drift left and right. Okay, Your course won't, but your bearing will. So from right here, just eyeballing that, that's, uh, I don't know, maybe, pen didn't work pretty good there, maybe 350? But my GPS will tell me that. So I started out, my bearing matched my uh, course, or my desire track. They both said 360. As I wander, this is going to start saying 359, 358, 357, and uh, so on. So if by the time I get here, my bearing says 350. So I make that choice, and I turn to whatever heading will now give me a ground track of 350, and I should follow this line. I never changed my GPS to pick a new course. In, my, in this example. I just want my bearing and my track to match at this point to get to my destination. If I want to, I can hit my little direct to, enter, enter, whatever on my box, and I could very well draw me a new course line. Get rid of that 360. And now this would update to 350. My bearing would be 350 because, well, that's where I am. I would make my heading be whatever it would take, maybe 355 in this example, to make my track be 350, and I'll get all the way to my destination. Okay? So course, or desired track, is just a line on the map. It's what I want to fly. Heading is just whichever way I'm pointing the nose. Ground track is the math of my heading and the wind fighting each other to ultimately give me a track along the ground, and bearing is just, what would my course be from right here? Okay, now what would it be? Okay, now what would it be? Okay, now what would it be? And your GPS just constantly samples that and gives you an update for that. Course, heading, track, and bearing. All right, if anybody has any questions, comments, or smart remarks, uh, please let me know. Be happy to answer them, and uh, thanks for watching.